Good morning and happy Thursday. So today, like I said in yesterday's video, is Costco day. So I'm getting ready to leave here in a few short minutes. Um, I've had my tea um, and I need to eat something, but I'm going to make a protein shake and take with me on the drive over there because it is 27 miles from my house to Costco. Um, so I'm just going to drink a shake on the way instead of making breakfast. The shakes are not anything super new for me. Um, I've been I've been doing them off and on for probably three weeks or so. <coughs> so this wasn't anything that I ran out and got stuff due to yesterday's doctor appointment. Um, and I make them a few different ways, um, but I'll show you how I'm making one today. Um, so it's just, it's kind of like it's not meant for any specific diet, whether it's low carb, low fat, high protein, whatever. It's just a pretty well-rounded protein shake. So let me put you on the tripod. So this one I need a blender. Sometimes I make them where I don't need a blender. Today I do. So I'm just going to put a handful of frozen blackberries in here. That's another comment on yesterday's video. For those of you that have commented so far, it's early. The video only went up a little bit ago. Thank you for your support so far. I'm going to add some of the Chobani Simply 100 Greek yogurt. Um, and Mike's had me reading yogurt containers a long time ago, back when he started watching what he eats. And it's amazing the sugars that are in yogurt. And you know I've been a Chobani eater for quite a while. Um, and the sugars are insane when I really took the time to look at them, but I never cared earlier. Now I have to care. But the Simply 100 has super low sugars compared to, um... What's the word I'm using compared to regular, regular yogurts? I am going to use vanilla almond milk in here. And then the protein powder that I've been using is the Integrated Supplements brand whey protein in the vanilla flavor. They make of chocolate. I'm pretty sure there was a, I don't know if it was a strawberry or a mixed berry. I buy it at Target, so no need to go to GNC or another specialty store. It's available at Target. And that's it. I'm gonna whir this together and this tastes like a yummy raspberry shake, but I'm gonna turn this off so I don't like blow your eardrums. going to put it in my blender bottle to drink out of. Obviously I don't need the blender ball since it's already blended. Um, so I'm just going to take that out. And it's not thick that you need a straw. It's definitely drinkable, but it's thicker than, a, than just milk and protein powder, just with that little bit of yogurt. So that's it. So let's hit the road and head to Costco. Hey, so I'm in the parking lot of Costco and, um, I think you've heard me say before that my closest Costco is in Lancaster, Lancaster County, which is home to a very large Amish community. Um, and my Costco has horse and buggy parking. So I'm going to flip the camera around here and let you see it. So there you go. At the end of the parking lot, we have horse and buggy parking. And there they sit. Okay, now to fight this horrible parking lot. Okay, done my Costco shopping. It is beautiful outside. It's 62. It's still a little chilly for me, but the sun is warm and the inside of the car, I don't know what it is on the inside, but it's hot in here. Um, but the interior is black and the sun's been shining in, so it's no wonder it's a little hot. But I am opening my sunroof. Yeah, opening the sunroof for my drive home. Oh, and of course, when you have the sunroof open, you have to blur the music. Okay, I'm going home now. Do you need a cookie? Huh? These are puppy cookies. Yeah. Do you need a puppy cookie? Hold on, I gotta break it up for you. 
Okay, I am back from Costco. So I guess we'll start over here in the kitchen. Four pounds of Costco bacon, best bacon in the world. Y'all know if you've been watching me for any period of time, this is like, this is like God's perfect food right here. I got two whole chickens, a whole bonus pork loin that I will break down into a couple roasts and some chops. A six pack of the boneless, skinless chicken legs and thighs. This is what I give to the dog um, for his dinner mixed with a little bit of dry dog food. Three, it's a total of four pounds, but one and one and a third pound in each pack of Costco's ground beef. Love the stuff. And then over here to the table, someone ate his cookie. Yes, he did. I got a five pound bag of frozen peas, a three pack of English cucumbers, just under two and a half pounds of cod, and just a hair over three pounds of salmon, an eight pack of diced tomatoes, they are cans of tomatoes. A pound and a half of feta cheese, two pounds of strawberries. These are coming out of California right now. They're huge. An eight pack of corn. A, I think this was a five pound bag. Yeah, a five pound bag of clementines. A pound of spring mix. A flat of tomatoes. Again, y'all know this is my weakness. This is, oh, I just love a good tomato. And a 40 pack of water. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, we do not drink these regularly. I use a Brita pitcher here in the house, but when we travel, um, then I will use these. And we have a trip to Florida coming up here in two weeks. And I'm down to like four bottles in the fridge. So I picked up a 40 pack. And that is it for Costco. So I'm going to start putting this stuff away. Okay, the first thing I'm prepping is the salmon. So I took that little over three pounds of salmon and I cut it up into five servings. So this right here is just two pieces that I'm going to let raw, but I'm going to freeze it in a freezer bag. Um, and I have marked on there that it will be raw salmon. And that'll be for dinner for Mike one night. I don't eat salmon, so the salmon is only for him. The other four pieces that I have here on the pan, I have um, brushed with some jerk marinade. I'm going to bake that in the oven. Once it's done, I'll pull it out. I'm going to let it cool completely. And then I put them in individual freezer bags. And Mike will, um, every once in a while, take a piece in his lunch. So prepping for his lunch and going in the freezer for dinner for him. Okay, the cod, I am going to cook all of it for dinner tonight. I just kind of cut it up. Um, it's seasoned with Old Bay seafood seasoning and just a couple small pats of butter on top. Um, and we'll eat some of this for dinner tonight. And then the rest of it, I will cut up into individual serving sizes um, and put that in the fridge for my lunches for next week. Okay, I cut the pork down. So I have two pretty nice sized pork roasts here that are going in the freezer. And I cut two nice, super thick pork chops. And then this pork roast is going in the refrigerator and I'm going to be making that one tomorrow night. Um, I had a recipe for a Mexican pulled pork on last week's meal plan and I never made it. My intention was to make it, and I walked downstairs the night before to get it out to thaw, and I had no pork roast. I forgot that I had used my last one. So yeah, I'm finally going to make the Mexican pulled pork tomorrow because I had bought that shredded cabbage last week um, to use with it. So tomorrow's dinner will be pork. The rest of this is all bound for the freezer. Okay, so here's what I'm doing now, and this is a little bit of a money-saving trick, too. Um, when I freeze the salmon, I'll freeze them just in sandwich bags. And I know they're not meant for the freezer, but I'm getting there. So 
each portion will be in just a regular sandwich bag. Then at the end, I will put all the sandwich bags into a Ziploc freezer bag. And these I reuse over and over. When they're empty, I just fold them up nice and small and stick them on the door of the freezer and keep reusing them because no food product is ever touching the inside of my bag. It's strictly holding bags. But it's cheaper for me to do that than it is for me to waste a freezer, four freezer bags every time I do this. And then when I pull it out for Mike's lunch, I simply pull out one of the sandwich bags, take the frozen fish out and stick it in a glass container for him to heat up in the microwave at work. Okay, for a side dish tonight with the fish, I am going to saute some corn and zucchini together. So all I've done is I pulled out a bag of frozen corn and left it thaw in a pan. I'm just going to add a little bit of avocado oil to it. I'm throwing corn on the floor. All right, seasoning with the normal stuff. Pepper. Salt. And I'm gonna use some of the Mrs. Dash's table blend. I love this stuff on veggies. I'm just going to saute that up till the zucchini is nice and soft. Thanks for joining me today. It's about 10 of 9, so I'm going to take my orange that I tortured. Seriously, I, you should have seen me trying to peel and segment that orange. It looks, like, it looks like I'm five years old. I don't know what happened with that orange tonight. Anyway, I'm going to go have my snack and read my Glamour magazine and just chill in peace and quiet the rest of the night. Mike's already in bed. Puppy's asleep on one of the chairs, so I'm gonna go sit with him. And um, I hope that dinner gave you some ideas. I know I don't, it, I'm not missing the whole potatoes thing. I had given up potatoes a couple weeks ago, and I'm not missing it. Just having a protein and double vegetable is working for us. You know, I've been doing it for more than just today, um, so I'm enjoying it. So. I have no tips really to give you. The whole corn and zucchini, I just decided to throw two vegetables together so that it wasn't so, I don't want to say boring because I like a, just a plain vegetable. But mixing the two together just kind of makes it exciting. And um, so yeah, who's to say what I'm going to mix together next. But tomorrow is um, the Mexican pulled pork. So I will see you back tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow? Mother Nature is bipolar. She really is. I think she needs some medicine. It got up to 65 degrees here today. It was beautiful outside. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow off and on all day and get three and we're supposed to get about three inches of snow and it's not getting out of the 30s for the next week. I think winter has just officially arrived here. Oh my god. Seriously. I'm ready for spring. Okay. Good night.